We see Patriots fans sporting all kinds of t-shirts with snappy slogans. Get ready for a new one inspired by Deflategate. This shirt has a vintage feel. It's pro Brady, anti-commissioner, and as I found out today, it's kicking up a little bit of controversy at the NFL. It is 90% cotton, 10% polyester, and 100% anti-Roger Goodell. Squish the commish. Squish the commish. If you're a longtime Patriots fan, you might be thinking, that's a ripoff of Squish the Fish, the 1980s rallying cry of the Super Bowl-bound Pats. Well, you're right and wrong. Kyle Nagel's the creator of Squish the Commish. Me and my wife were sitting at lunch last week, and she came up with the idea. We're trying to ride something with Goodell, and she came up with, why don't you just squish the commish? And I was like, I gave her the high-five genius, and, uh, it was, and it's been a big hit since. Nagel's not ripping anyone off. Squish the Fish was his company's creation, a company that was so successful that he sold it to Fruit of the Loom. 30 years later, this T-shirt is for fun and charity. We're not keeping a penny of this. For, right? All the profits go right to Best Buddies. Nagel hopes to write a big check to Best Buddies, a Tom Brady favorite. So Nagel started SquishTheCommish.com. Squish the commish. He bought TV and radio ads, including WBZ, and until today, the NFL Network. You got a call today about the NFL Network? Yeah, they pulled all our commercials off the NFL Network today. What happened? I don't know. I just got a call from my media buyer saying that uh, the NFL came, someone called them and said take all the commercials down, so they're not going to run any more spots. But the shirts keep coming in small, medium, and large, as this Pats fan waits for an extra-large legal victory for his favorite quarterback. I think he'll win. I think at the end of the day, this is going to get resolved in his favor. You think he's going to squish the commission? I, th I think we're all going to squish the commission, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Collectively squish. So as a Patriots fan, Nagel's hoping that the deflate gate debacle sort of ends quickly. Yeah. But as someone who's trying to raise money for best buddies, he wouldn't mind if it drags on a little bit because he hopes to raise about twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars for the charity. So a souvenir from a bad time for a good cause. That's right. Fingers crossed. I love it. I do too. <laughs> well, Kate Merrill is going to be bringing us complete coverage of tomorrow's Deflategate hearing in New York. When will this end? Her live reports start tonight at ten and eleven o'clock. And it's